Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, I'm Jalissa. So today's video is so exciting. And today's video is a hair tool video. So this is a hair tool that I'm going to be testing out today on my curly hair. This is kind of like the Revlon One Step Hair Dryer and Volumizer. As you can see, it has like a very similar style. Every time that a brand comes out with a blow dryer like this, I need to try it out. <laughs> this one retails for about $150. Dry bar is a little bit expensive and their hair tools are very good quality but we got to see if it compares to the Revlon brush and we have to see if they are like the same thing because honestly if this is the same thing as the Revlon then there is probably not worth all that money because this is a hundred dollars more guys if you are wondering where i got my earrings from and this gorgeous necklace how cute is this if you're wondering where i got this necklace from it's so cute it's like the world and then i also got these earrings actually happiness boutique sent them to me so if you guys want to check out their website i'll link it down below i also have a discount code so if you guys want 10 percent off go check out the website and maybe you can do some christmas shopping and save some coins <laughs> okay so let's get right into the video i'm sure you guys have seen me try out the revlon brush already <laughs> a couple times so i'm definitely going to speed up this side um but i am going to focus more on this brush today so actually i'm going to use this prep rally um prime and prep detangler from dry bar to prep my hair before i blow it out this is my first time trying this out this is like a heat protectant but it's also supposed to give you a lot of shine so i'm very excited to see how this is going to work so i'm going to do the revlon side right now and i'm going to start the timer so let's do this Okay guys, so here's the Revlon side. Like as you can see, it looks so sleek. It looks so shiny. Do you guys see that shine? Wow, my hair feels so soft. Like it feels softer than ever today and I'm pretty sure it's because of this. Like this is really good. So, so far I'm loving this. I'm probably gonna use it again and again and again to prep my hair before my blowout. It's a heat protectant as well. I'm gonna link it down below if you guys want to purchase it, but wow guys, look at that. Oh my god, it looks so nice. It looks so nice. Absolutely no waves or anything. It looks super sleek. Like, I don't even need a straightener after this. In the summer, I do need to straighten my hair because my hair gets very poofy with the humidity, but right now in the winter, I really don't need it because it's not really humid outside but my hair feels extra soft i mean obviously you guys know i love the revlon brush but like i'm pretty impressed today with this this is what has impressed me the most because my hair feels super soft and it looks so healthy and it looks so shiny it really does look so shiny it's insane so i love this i'll link it down below i love my revlon i'll link it down below now let's move on to the dry bar side so i forgot to tell you guys how long it took me to do this side so i timed it as you guys saw um and it only took me 14 minutes 
so that is very 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 fast guys that is so fast for me it used to take me about an hour to do my hair before i discovered the revlon brush now it takes me 30 minutes okay so let's do this side so let's do the dry bar side let's open this up but i mean they look exactly the same Ooh, whoa wait 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 they don't look exactly the same they kind of do but they kind of don't if you know what i mean so the dry bar is actually a little bit smaller than the revlon as you can see so if you have shorter hair then you might like this a little bit more my mom might like this one a little bit more because her hair is like really short right now so sometimes she struggles with the revlon because her hair is like super short and this is very big um so it's kind of hard for her to get in the roots but maybe she'll like this one a little bit more because as you can see it is a little bit smaller can you guys see that yeah it definitely is a little bit smaller they're about the same weight the bristles look pretty much the same as well so let's do a sound comparison so this is what the revlon blow dryer sounds like on high <laughs> So this is what the dry bar sounds like on high. So the sound is about the same. So let's get right into blowing out the hair. I'm also going to time it. So one thing that I like a little bit more about the dry bar already is that the cord is like way longer than the Revlon. Okay, so let's start the timer and let's do this. okay so yeah it definitely looks very sleek very straight as well as you can see it also looks very very shiny i did feel like it took me a little bit longer to do this section of hair i noticed that with this with the first section of this side after two minutes i was done but this section did take me about four minutes it took me about four minutes for this small section maybe this section was a little bit bigger than the one on this side and maybe i just need to get the hang of this tool maybe the other sections will be a little bit quicker but i did notice that the revlon gets a lot hotter like way hotter so if that's something that you don't like about the revlon that it gets really hot because this does get really really hot then maybe you're gonna like the dry bar a lot more but i mean maybe the dry bar just uses a little bit less heat um so that there's not a lot of heat damage that could be something that could be it so let's continue and i'll be back with the final look so i'm going to continue my timer okay guys i'm back with the final look so here's the dry bar side as you can see it has a little bit more of bounce so you definitely get like a different look still looks very shiny and very healthy but this side is like just like more of a sleek 
look this is the Revlon side and this side has a little bit more volume so it's interesting to see both of them side by side but yeah this side also looks really good also very sleek and shiny but the Revlon side definitely looks more sleek in my opinion than this side I think the smaller brush helps a lot with giving a different look more I think it's more like a blowout look and definitely gives the hair a little bit more bounce and volume as compared to the Revlon the Revlon just gives you a sleek look for sure um, like a very sleek blowout like as you can see this all looks just pretty straight very sleek and then this side right here looks very bouncy and it has more volume the Revlon gets a lot hotter than the dry bar and the Revlon is a lot bigger and then the dry bar so if you have long hair like me or just like medium length or even shorter um, I think you're gonna like the Revlon if you have really really short hair then maybe you're gonna like the dry bar a little bit better because the brush is smaller like maybe you can't see a big difference in camera but when you try it on your hair you will notice a huge difference so this is way quicker this takes a little bit longer you have to take way smaller sections with this one um i'm gonna tell you guys how long it took me to do this side of my hair so for this side it took me about 20 minutes so it did take me like six more minutes i like this side but i like this side a little bit better because i do prefer just the sleek look I like how hot the Revlon gets. I think it helps a lot with speeding up the process. Um, maybe it does damage your hair a little bit more than the dry bar. I haven't used this enough to tell you guys if this is going to damage my hair or not. So I can't really tell you if at the end of the day this is going to damage my hair or if this is going to damage my hair a lot more. So I can't really tell you guys that because I've only tried this once. I will say the Revlon, if you overdo it, it is going to damage your hair a little bit. I noticed that happened with me when I was using this every single week. My hair didn't look as full and it was getting a little bit damaged. So maybe just use this like once or twice a month. But overall, do I think that this is worth $100 more? I don't think so unless it just really helps with heat damage. Then yeah, I would... You know consider it i would be like okay then yeah let me just use this instead you guys let me know in the comments down below which side you liked better did you like the revlon side better this is what it looks like or did you like the dry bar side better this is what it looks like if you like this video make sure you give it a big thumbs up also don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel and turn on your post notifications so you can get notified every time i upload a video if you liked this video then i'm sure you're gonna like these videos as well these videos are probably some blow dryer videos some hair tool videos so go check them out and just binge watch my videos i would really appreciate that love you guys Mwah. bye bye